This is my dream loft bed. I built it with gaming and editing studio, stairs with drawers, and walk-in closet. This is one of my most hardest projects. Drawers, cabinets, stairs, customized details, office and gaming, everything you need is in this video guys, so watch until the end. Multi-monitor workspace design, stairs with drawers, comfortable heavy duty, walk-in closet. This was my old love bed and most of you enjoyed it. I just want to thank my sponsor, Jesus Christ, the carpenter of life. Guys, I will tell you the truth. If you know the truth, the truth will set you free. This build was possible because of our master builder, Jesus Christ. He said, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had a foundation on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. After building the foundation, I started now to drill the holes for our bed frame. I will be attaching this bolt because I want the bed frame to be more secure on the wall. After securing all of the bolts, now we can remove it because we need to make the bed frame on the floor so it will be more easier for us. The size of the bed frame is 140 by 200. This will have enough space for two persons. After that, I trace all of the wood so that we can place the screw accurately on the other side of the wood. I added also some wood glue so that it will be more stronger so it can be more durable when we are using the loft bed. After we are done in the inside part of the bed frame, now we can place it on the top of the foundation and place the rest of the foundation. I decide to use a 4x4 lumber for strength and design of the loft bed. Someone commented before that I have a functional table saw but I use the jigsaw. Guys, if you don't have a bigger machine like table saw, you can also use this jigsaw, it can do a lot of the work. After that, now we can combine the front part and the back part of the foundation and then now we can secure the bed frame on the wall. I want to add structural design and secure the foundation with bolts. I tried to find black bolts but they don't have it so I decided to paint it. After I attached the foundation to the bed frame, I started to cut the plywood for our walk-in closet. I want to have additional strength on the top and bottom part of our closet, therefore I use some glue, nails and screws.
I decided to have multiple shelves with different heights to have enough space for my clothes and gadgets. After I build the structure for the walk-in closet, I start to build the stairs for our loft bed. I tried to cut the plywood using the jigsaw but I found out that the table saw will do the job faster. After cutting the shape of the stairs, I begin to cut the drawers that we will use inside the staircase. My initial plan was to have the entire staircase using one plywood on each side, but it was easier to transport half of the plywood. Our solution is to glue the right side and the left side together. While waiting for the glue to dry, I started to build the drawers for our staircase. I had some leftover plywoods that I can reuse from our previous loft bed. After I built the drawer box, the staircase was ready. I placed the drawer box with slides to get the distance between our staircase plywood. I used my table saw to cut this 2x3 but I almost got injured. Therefore, I recommend you to use the miter saw or jigsaw for this type of cut. I begin to combine the right and left side together with 2 by 3s and use long screws and glue to create a solid staircase. And then, I began to cut thicker plywood for the door front of our drawers. After that, I carried the staircase and started to attach the slide for the drawers. I need to screw the slides on the drawers to see if everything fits together. The topmost drawer has a smaller space so I need to cut and customize the size of the drawer. On the door front I wanted it to be minimalistic design and customize the size to fit my hand.
I want to have a nice finish on this drawer front so I started sanding it using a 120 grit sandpaper and started to paint. To save time I also painted the staircase with white, I was thinking actually earlier to paint it with black but the space is so small. I wanted my walk-in closet to look clean so I decided to paint it white. I took my old shelves and cut it to customize the size to fit on our staircase. To be able to have additional strength on the bed frame, I attach additional support on the center part of the bed frame. I then took a couple of 70 by 200 IKEA bed slats and nailed it on the bed frame. And then I took an IKEA curtain and attached it over the bed slats to avoid moist between the bed frame. I had an old bed that I disassembled and I exposed the springs and foam to be able to reuse it. I don't want to have a bed frame exposed under the editing studio, therefore I attach some thin drywall on the ceiling. Some part was a little bit tricky, but we managed to shape it like a puzzle. I placed a paper tape and applied some joint compound to hide the lines in between the ceiling. I began to sand the ceiling using 120 grit sandpaper. After that I painted the ceiling with a small roller and applied some silicone between the cabinets. I found this test up that I wanted in a second hand store. I cut it to get my desired size and place it over my old desktop with drawers. I wanted to have a floating desktop on the right side to add the design of the setup.
And then I attach a dual arm on this side and bought a bigger screen that I can use on the center of our computer setup. I added some LED strips on the corner of the ceiling to have some light on our editing studio. On our computer setup, I decided to have a good quality microphone for our voiceover like this and headphones that we can replace just in case my cat decide to eat my wires again. I also bought this Mac Studio to help us for the speed when I'm editing videos. We can also use multiple screen on this Mac Studio and have additional USB-C and SD extended capacity on the front to make it easier to insert my SD card after filming. I bought an extension cord with surge protector to provide an extra layer of safety on our devices. We also got this 24TB storage to store our videos. I'll be using this Focusrite to be able to record high quality audio from our microphone. This Logitech mouse helped me a lot to edit my video faster. I also hung this IKEA pegboard to maximize the space. I want to hang some of my clothes inside my walk-in closet. Luckily, I found a metal rod from IKEA that we can use. I attach the drawer front and then I drill a couple of holes for our shelf. I covered the LED strips with 1x2 to make the light softer. I will be using some L brackets on this side to support for our headboard. On our previous project, I built this DIY slotted headboard to be able to add design to our loft bed. I added a couple of laminated planks on this side to add style and texture. I want to have a small space here where I can place the VR that I got from my sister. I'm satisfied with the outcome of the loft bed even though it took me months to finish this project. I want to document all the time I used but I already lost count. 
By the way, we reached 4,000 subscribers during the publishing of this video. I thank you for helping this channel grow. I'll be having more projects to come if God permits. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this love bed. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe so you won't miss my future projects.